hello friends in this video basically we will try to understand the meaning of organization in public administration so let's begin in public administration organization is attributed to three meanings first the act of designing the administrative structure second both designing and building the structure and third the structure itself but these meaning have been thought as narrow at present the term organization carries a special meaning in public administration it means a plan of action it is an action by group of people who work in cooperation and its aim is the achievement of some purpose this purpose cannot be achieved if the plan of action or program is not carried out according to well understood principles thus by organization we mean a plan of action a spirit of cooperation a set purpose and well defined principles of procedure various scholars has given the definition of organization some of the definitions are as follow Ludergulik defines organization as the formal structures of authority through which work subdivisions are arranged, defined, and coordinated for the defined objective. Demock and Demock says organization is the basic tools by means of which the administrative process is kept operated. Muni says that organization is the form of every human association for the attainment of common purpose. There are many examples of organizations. Uh, in India, they are Panchayati Raj, the Planning Commissions, the Atomic Energy Commissions, etc. And if you talk about the USA, then the National Security Council may be seated as an example. Now we will see why there is need for organization in administration. As you know that modern state is not a police state but a welfare state. It is doing every kind of services to the people. As a result, the state is performing a lot of functions, political, social, economic, cultural and humanitarian. Due to this, its administrative machinery is even on the increase. So it is necessary to bring into existence new organization to meet the new situations in society. Organization are built in two ways, first from the top to downwards and second from the down to upwards. According to first method, the head of the department is appointed first, who in turn appoints the subordinate staff and divides his work between them. According to the second method, the lower officer is appointed first and placed charge to the organization. As it develops and expands, the higher strata of the organizations are built up and officers of the higher positions are appointed. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you. Thank you so much.